stop forcing yourself to create videos or podcasts you don't need to be a charismatic presenter or a great conversationalist to win in content marketing here are two things you must know to create great content it has two distinct stages number 1 is inside generation and number 2 is content distribution let's go through it one by one so inside generation is the most crucial part of creating content because if your content is not valuable enough to the target audience no matter how charismatic the presentation is the content is not going to stand out so before you figure out or you before you worry about the formats or the channels and all the other 100 different stuff ask yourself what is the most comfortable way for me to generate my insights don't force yourself to do videos if you have to read the script word by word right don't force yourself to write tweet storms if you are worried about being clear concise and grammatically correct all the time don't force yourself to record podcasts if talking isn't the most natural way in which good ideas come to you find a format in which you are most comfortable thinking in is it writing in your physical journal is it talking to yourself while you are on, on your morning walk is it talking to a subject matter expertise in your field or is it talking to your best friend about your subject matter is it reading a book and wrote, noting down your thoughts in the margins of the book so whatever it is figure that out my best ideas come to me when i am engaging with other people's linkedin posts and dropping my two cents on them so if you are not aware of what your holy grail is experiment a bit before moving forward with your content creation journey because this is the most important part that needs to be figured out let's move on to the second part now which is content distribution once you have figured out a way to generate valuable insights on a regular basis the next step is to figure out how to package it for the world you see if your medium of generating insight is write down in your physical journal not many people may want to read your journal scribblings in your bad handwriting right So let's use this particular example to see how you can package this content for different audiences. So what you can do is type it out what whatever your scribblings are, add a nice intro to it, you know, segment the text into smaller paragraphs and publish it on Medium or your, on your company blog. That becomes a blog post. Then you can send that blog post to a whiteboard animator and get whiteboard animations based simple whiteboard animations be, made based on that blog post so that becomes a video that can go out on youtube or linkedin or any other channel right then you can read out that blog post and or just use the animation sound you know the animation from the whiteboard animations and that becomes your podcast you can take out stand alone tweets and social media posts from that larger piece as well then you can take your tweets and paste your image on it or if your post is about x ways to do y you can use canva to make a carousel out of it those become your image posts you can teach yourself to do all these things or you can get a team to do it for you so let me give you an example of how my process works i spend 30 minutes every day dropping meaningful comments on different posts on linkedin i store these comments in a document called fermentation doc where i turn these comments into full fledged posts over time these posts go out on all text platforms they become captions for my instagram they serve as scripts for my short videos they become the topics for my long form conversations right in fact this particular topic that we are talking about right now it started with someone was talking about on linkedin on how they can they repurpose different content and how to do repurposing basically right and i wrote down my entire process in the comment section and they liked it a lot of people liked it and commented on it and engaged with that comment and then that's where i knew that okay this there is demand in the market for this kind of content so that's how i generated my idea for this post then it became a linkedin post from there from there now i am creating a podcast around it now my team will chop out uh, post post this on youtube and linkedin and other places and then we will also chop out smaller pieces of content from it and put it out on uh, social media as well so that is how my whole process looks like so that is why i say the most important part of content marketing is to generate valuable ideas valuable insights that cut through the noise regardless of the format don't worry about the format or if you're creating videos if you're creating podcasts if you're writing blog posts do whatever it is that suits you to generate your insight 
because everything else is figure outable. You can either teach yourself to do all those things or you can hire a team to do all those things. But you need to first figure out how you can produce the best ideas for your target audience.